Okay, so this beautiful little fish here is called the lionfish. Um, it's also called turkey fish or uh, fire fish. Many people call them scorpion fishes as well. And that's loose terminology. It's not a true scorpion fish, but the family to which they belong is the scorpionidae, which has the scorpion fish in it, which are a flattened fish. They don't have these big elaborate um, fins. Uh, or fin rays and they basically are more bottom dwellers and um, then the other relative is, is the stonefish. Now the stonefish, the true scorpion fish and these lionfish are all very toxic fish. They are venomous, they have toxic spines. This particular one has got it in, in the rays of the those individual sort of fingers that you see on the pectoral fins. They also have them on the dorsal fin, these sharp spines, and they can deliver a very powerful sort of neurotoxin which um, will cause you know partial paralysis, breathing problems. It's usually not fatal to, to humans anyway in the lionfish, but the stonefish can prove fatal to, to people. And they're more sluggish. They tend to be you know, mimicking rocks hanging around at the bottom. People step on them, but they they as ambush hunters of small fish, whereas the lionfish um, tends to move around and look, looks for prey, actively looks for it in amongst the coral reefs and so on. And um, I find that... Uh, whilst they, they're moving around, uh, they, they're moving these fins, as you can see, the bright colours are very diagnostic, the striping pattern is, is very typical of lionfish, so they're advertising their danger through opossumatism um, and uh, making themselves look bigger with these fins, so they'll intimidate larger enemies that could potentially eat them, but they're also there to maybe mimic the coral reefs and the, the, the seabed grasses and so on, and they're, um, they're in amongst them, that might attract smaller fish which bring them within range for, for, for catching. So. Uh, really beautiful fish um, moving around in these rock pools. They can get quite big, but they typically small like this when you see them. It's interesting to note that despite their toxicity, they are actually edible and eaten by people throughout the Indo-Pacific Rim. They found throughout the Indian and the Pacific Oceans, the Arabian Peninsula. Uh, they're also been introduced to the Atlantic, where unfortunately they're proving to be a real nightmare on the Caribbean reefs, where they're decimating indigenous fish stocks, given that they have no natural enemies and they're very ferocious little predators.